Hello, hello, Transformers more than meets the eyes. This is Chucky from Collecting for Fun. And today we are going to continue our review of this five set Autobots Transformers Legacy United set. And this has five Autobots in it. So far, if you've been following the series, uh, we have op uh, unboxed this set and we've been slowly opening and uh, transforming and reviewing these sets. So, 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 so far we have uh, reviewed Jazz over there and Sunstreaker over there. And today we are in the middle. We are going to be transforming and reviewing Trailbreaker. So let's uh, have a look at Trailbreaker and I'm take him out of this uh, box container that he's in and then we'll take check him out. So this is the first time I'm going to be transforming him. I'm gonna put this off to the side here. So you can see him right over there. And we are going to take him out in just a second. I'm gonna just put the camera down so I can release him. I gotta be careful not to end or damage the toy. We're gonna unbuild him. Let's pull him out first. Let me see. He looks like he's locked in somewhere else. Oh yes, the torso, the middle part is locked. So that should do it. And oh, his arm is still locked. So let's get him out here. Okay. That's very good. Let's push him back a little bit. And I have just got to release uh, some of his weapons now. So we got a hood or the back of his car here. Let's see if I can just pull this down. I can. So there's his uh, back of his car. I think he also uses that as a shield. So we'll put that on. And then last but not least, we have his gun over here. So let me see. I think I'm going to just pull it out like that. Okay, so uh, that just leaves two more for next time. All right, so let's have a look at Trail Breaker. So Trail Breaker uh, comes like this. Do I have to do anything? So I think that's basically all his transformation. Is. So this is his full robot form. So we'll put his gun into the slot over here and it almost like disappears into his hand and looks kind of like um, it's part of his um, hand there yeah I think I just did I put that in wrong no I put that in right so it goes right into his hand and it can actually slide so far down that it that just kind of becomes part of his hand almost like a drill thing but uh, if we if you recall uh, hound is the force field guy, he's the tank of the Autobots. So you can put, it uh, looks like you can put this sh um, this thing here as a shield, I guess. It's not, definitely not a gun of any sort. Or you can just put it on his back. Now, let's see how his back goes. I think this is not transformed in his back properly. Where is it? I think this is supposed to cover it. I'm not sure how it's supposed to stay on. I think it's just like this. Why is it like this? No, the picture shows it like this. Oh, it hooks onto the back part? Uh, sorry, this is again the first time I'm even looking at this transformer, so I'm not even sure how the back part's supposed to look. I guess this part's supposed to go up. This part's supposed to go up. There we go. That's for the robot form. And I'm not sure how this thing stays on. Is it just click on like that? I am uncertain if that actually goes on anywhere. It shows that it goes into the back somewhere, but where exactly, I am not sure. It almost looks like it's supposed to go on like this, but... I don't know. I guess I'll have to figure it out later. All right. So let's take a look at the robot form. So I don't think he's in full robot form. I think this needs to come down a bit. 
and his legs need to come in and this thing snaps into the butt a little bit. So let's zoom out and readjust the camera height so we can get all that in. I'll take the scissors out of the frame. We don't need those anymore. Let's bring that down here. All right, let's figure out how to transform trail, uh, trail Breaker. So Trail Breaker, as I said, is the Autobot, um, sorry, Autobot um, tank. He's the force field guy. Uh, you can see, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. I've never had a Trailblazer be or Trail Breaker before. Uh, so this is my first in any iteration, um, but always a cool Autobot uh, in the original uh, cartoon. You can see, I guess this is where his force field will emanate from right there. And uh, I think that's just an extra rocket. And we're going to put his, sh I'm assuming, shield here just because I can't figure out how to I hook it up to the back. I really don't see where it hooks up. It might hook up to this area. But it's really not clear on the instructions exactly where it goes. Oh wait, there's a, they show this little pin. Okay, so this pin sticks up. So maybe that's where that goes. So let's try it here. Let's pull this off, his hand. And let's see. Ah, yes, there is a little slot right there. So that must be where it goes. So we must snap, we must have to snap that in here somehow. There we go. Ah, all right. Well, there you go. We figured it out. Okay, so to transform this into um, a car form, well, let's figure it out. Um, so I, just like all the other um, Autobots, very articulate limbs. You can see he's very mobile in the knee joint, leg joint, uh, the feet themselves don't have a lot, but the legs definitely move and compensate for that. The arms have a pretty good swivel. Um, it looks like this moves up. This back part here is part of the arms, so it looks like almost like arm armor in the back. I'm not exactly sure, but I mean, it looks, it looks fine. The back looks pretty cool, uh, especially with the back part added to there. Um, but again, this can double up as a shield. All right, so I believe I had to pop this off anyways for the transformation. So we'll take that off. Again, you can have it as a shield. So to transform uh, this, we're going to flip this thing back and this thing back to start with. And it looks like we have to, uh, yes, we flip that back, we flip this back. We have to move this thing up it almost looks like we have to put this thing back on. I don't know. Well, I guess it stays on there. I don't know if that makes the transformation more difficult or not, but I guess we'll find out. So we're supposed to lift this up and I guess lift that down. And we're going to flip the head. It looks like, yeah, we just flipped the head in. So we go flip that head, sorry, flip the head from the front to back down here. All right, very good. And then once the head is down, we are going to work on the arms. Okay, so we're going to take off his gun. That does not go on there, obviously. We are going to, looks like we got a flip turn his arms in. Did I do that right? Yeah, it looks like I did. We got to turn his arms in. Rotate those in. Do I have to rotate it once more? Yes. Uh, nope. The fists are facing back. And then we're going to flip these arms up like so. And currently we are on step number nine. And now we're going to flip the arms up and then move the torso. So let's do that. We're going to flip the arms in like this, it looks like. And then we're going to flip, we're going to turn around and flip 
something oh no sorry this wheel thing comes up yes it does okay so this wheel thing comes up and then we're gonna bring the arms down now in some form or fashion how does this work the arms are out like this I think I have the arms facing the wrong way that's why it looks weird so let's flip the arms out this way and now we're going to flip these arms downwards there we are and then we are going to get his arms bent up do I have them facing the wrong way and somehow these arms are supposed to go up or in I'm not exactly sure. I guess they go in like this. I might have did that wrong, but we'll figure it out in a second. I'm not sure if they're supposed to go the other way and then bend up. No, the arm, the pictures show this way, but I don't understand what is going on with the torso. So I'll figure that part out afterwards. So we're going to work on the legs. We're going to flip the legs up. There we go. And flip this hoodie thing up. So this part goes in. The legs go up. And there is a slot where the, right, sorry, right there where the, uh, this thing slots into. So we're going to push those in. I think there's supposed to slot in there and they look like it now we just gotta figure out how to get the hands in there properly so these do snap in here yes they do there we go okay so the back looking good now we just gotta figure out what the hell to do with these hands so they look like we bend the hands in somehow but I don't know how they fit all the way in. That's just weird. They definitely bend up. So this is the instructions that we got for the hands. So this is why I'm confused. The hands are facing the way I have them. Fists are out. And then they go up. Kind of like so. And it just worked on the legs. So now we're trying to figure out how to bend those arms in. So it looks like the arms almost go into this slot here. So let me see if they bend that way. And then we'll go from there. Okay. I think. Okay, so the arms went in. I've tucked this in. So we're on to this step here and it says we're just supposed to just push. So I have it right here. And we're supposed to just push the arms in. All right, let's try it out and see what happens. Oh, how about that? They kind of, they jolt in like that. So it, I think that's the transformation. I mean, the hands are not really hell, well hidden. And I did, I did transform it exactly what it said. But the hands you can tell are there. So there's that. In itself, it looks pretty cool. Um, I have no complaints about the actual car form. I think this would look definitely better with some die cast metal on it because it's such a darker car. Um, we'll add the uh, gun on the top there. Okay, so not bad. This is Trailblazer. Now, I, you know, in the cartoons, I remember Trail. I never had the actual toy, so I don't really know what he size-wise he was in proportion to everyone else. He just looked bigger, just because he was a wider car. He was, well, he was a, a trailer in the back. That's the name Trailbreaker. Um, and I always just thought he was just a bigger car. But, I mean, I guess in comparison, he doesn't look that much bigger than Jazz... And he's definitely more uh, narrower than Sunstreaker. 
But anyways, so let's go ahead and transform him back. Let's, I hope it's easier to transform him back. I mean, obviously the arms should be easier to figure out since we don't play around with it and trying to figure out what happened there. The legs, and we will pull those down. Ugh, gotta break that seal. We will, mm -hmm. all right, let's get the arms out here. And we gotta unlock the wheels from the back here because we snapped them in here, if you recall. There we go. So, a little bit of pressure to get the leg moving because it's definitely in there pretty good. <laughs> so, these, <laughs> I can tell you, this is a, it's a really snug fit. I hope I don't break it. <clears throat> wow. I wasn't expecting that to be locked in so good. So, a word of warning, it really does snap in really well in this trail break. Wow, we, I did break it, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. I just got to get this leg up. Okay, so there's the uh, legs coming out. Let's reattach the hoodie thing. Uh, actually, I'll just probably just move these arms up to make it easier to reattach that spot there. So, let's see how this went in. This goes in like this. So let's pull that back in. Hope I don't put this in backwards. There we go. All right. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so we got this head out. We got the trail thing here. Uh, so yeah, be careful with that, guys. You just saw what happened there. <laughs> We're going to get the arms out there. There we go. Get the arms here. We're going to rotate this arm down. Get it down to the right spot. I believe that is correct for that. Now I just have to get the feet more stable and this back thing in properly. So we got to take this back part out. And then we will lock this into place there. Bring these things together, and we're going to put his thing here. And I am just going to put this here just to make things simpler for me. All right, so we managed to transform it into car form and then back into robot form. Height wise, he does look taller, he definitely is taller than the other, other two. So I was not wrong, I mean, I do remember him being uh, taller than the other two Transformers, so in the cartoon. Uh, but when, I think in automobile form, he is about the same width, I think. It looked like it. So probably in one of the other videos uh, that we'll be doing, we'll transform them all, and we'll compare them all in size in robot form and then uh, car form, and then we'll know for sure if I'm right about Trailblazer or Trailbreaker's uh, uh, width there or length. It looks like he's slightly shorter in length uh, to Sunstreaker, I believe, and maybe comparable in, in length to Jazz. Um, but yeah, I would imagine he would, because he, uh, he, he looks like in the cartoons he should be like, longer. But anyways, uh, all in all, I think that was a pretty good Transformer. I, I think I like Jazz so far the best out of these, and then Sunstreaker. Trailbreaker, I think, uh, you know, I was looking forward to it, a little bit disappointed in the transformation. It was kind of a weird transformation, especially with the hands. And that thing really locked on me. Holy moly. But, uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think. Again, uh, interesting transformation. I'm not sure. Uh, right now, I mean, when I looked at it, I was really looking forward to getting the Trailbreaker. But I did find Jazz a lot easier to uh, transform and I think he looks probably the best so far. Sunstreaker looks pretty good. Uh, color should be a little bit more yellow as I mentioned in another video. Trailbreaker looks pretty good. Uh, compared to his G1 he looks more like the cartoon um, but uh, I don't know about the car form. I really don't. It's something's off or missing. He looks I don't know too boxy or something. I'm not sure. Anyways 
So that is our view so far of Trailbreaker today. And we've already done Sunstreaker and Jazz. So you can look for those in previous videos. I'll try to put a link in the comment section for those or in the uh, in description section for you. And we are just going to continue next time. And we'll be doing Wheeljack and we'll finish up the series with Hound. All right, guys, this is uh, Chucky from Collecting for Fun. Um, and uh, yeah, you saw me uh, making all types of weird stuff going on with this Trail Breaker review. But hey, that's the, that's the danger of doing things live uh, when we're unboxing it. Can't go and do a retake on this because we took it out of the box. So we will see you next time. And you guys can see live, you know, some of the uh, tricky issues that you might have with transforming it, uh, especially with those arms. All right, you guys take care. Uh, please leave a like and uh, subscribe. Hit that like and subscribe button. Leave uh, comments in the comment section of any Autobots, uh, you know, grouping that you want to see in the next. If they ever release another five pack legacy, um, you know, I would love to see a smoke screen and um, Mirage and uh, maybe tracks in there, and you know, add two more, you know, uh, Autobots. That'd be really cool. I'm not sure, again, I, you know, Decepticon wise, I'd be trickier because they're bigger usually, but I'm sure we can figure out something uh, for that too. All right, you guys take care and I uh, appreciate you guys watching.